On Capitol Hill, House Speaker Nancy Pelosi says progress is being made in talks to deliver more stimulus money to Americans affected by COVID-19 shutdowns. At the same time, in the Senate, Republicans try to push ahead in the confirmation of Judge Amy Coney Barrett to the Supreme Court. Capitol Hill correspondent Eric Rosales reports. Eric? Well, Tracy, a very unusual day up here at Capitol Hill. Senate Democrats filed motion after motion to try and stop the proceedings of Judge Barrett's confirmation on the Senate floor. They even went so far to ask for a closed session to turn off the cameras and speak candidly with each other, which has only happened a little more than 50 times since 1929. Very unusual. In the end, they did decide to hold the confirmation vote on Monday. But what about COVID relief talks? Will they continue up here on Capitol Hill? House Speaker Nancy Pelosi is continuing to push for a huge virus relief bill. It would send another $1,200 in direct payment to most Americans, restart bonus unemployment benefits, fund testing and vaccines, give aid to schools, and allocate money to states and local governments, a Democratic priority. I am hopeful uh, that we will be able to reach agreement. We've made good progress this week. A priority for the Senate Republican leader has been liability protections, provisions in the bill to protect everyone from hospitals to businesses and schools from frivolous COVID-19 lawsuits. There is no chance, zero chance, America can get back to normal without the Cornyn liability protection. And no bill will be put on the Senate floor that does not include it. The latest stimulus bill could include extra benefits for workers who lost their jobs due to the pandemic. Last week, 787,000 workers applied for unemployment benefits. That's the lowest level since March, but still high compared to roughly 186,000 claims in the same week in 2019. Speaker Pelosi has refused to lower her demands to get GOP support. We wouldn't take less of a bill to get it sooner. And the speaker says whether a new bill can be signed into law before Election Day is up to Republicans. I think it is arranged for us to pass it before the election. But it's not up to me to decide what the Senate does. That's a conversation between the president uh, and, and the majority leader. Back on Judge Barrett's confirmation, we are expected to have a final vote on Monday, as I mentioned. The vote is expected to be 51 to 49 to get her confirmed. That is because Republican Senators Susan Collins and Lisa Murkowski are expected to vote no. They wanted to wait until after the election to fill the seat. Tracy. Okay, thank you so much, Eric. Correspondent Eric Rosales reporting from Capitol Hill tonight.